Wow, that was sure a fantastic picnic. Now, to commune with nature and relieve myself. Thanks for coming on such short notice. We're really at a loss. We could use the expert opinion of a park ranger. Well, I'll do the best I can, but first I'll need to see the victim's remains. You're eating them! <laughs> this is no hiking accident. This is what happens when a pervis erectus <laughs> enters the park. I'm afraid we've got a pervert in these here woods. <laughs> okay, let's get this meeting underway. I just was to the store and got my groceries, and my Neapolitan ice cream is in the car, melting as we speak. <laughs> it has come to our attention that there is a pervert loose in the parks. So without further ado, let's turn this meeting over to Chief Boney. Chief? Now, I know we're at the height of our picnic season, but for the safety of the public, we're going to have to close the park. No! <laughs> but only for one day. I don't agree with that, Mayor. But only for one day, and then we will hire a consultant to best deal with this situation. I will take $3,500 out of my Phillips to the Mall project to hire the consultant. know me. You know I make a living. Who's this guy? You got a pervert in the park. A lot of ruined picnics. I'll find them for $35. Um, it's not $35, it's $3,500. Oh, well, wait a second. But I'll catch him and kill him for $250. For that, you get the head, the pervy parts, and everything in between. $250, that's a lot of money. How about $175? $175 in a case of gin. <laughs> Deal. <laughs> that's no lover's kiss. Gotcha. Well, I don't see why you have to go. It's my job. Well, all I know is that it's not fair that you always have to go out there and put your life on the line where the mayor sits in his office on his duff and eats ice cream all day. Well, that's his job. Well, Chief Boney, all I know is that you better come home in one piece. Don't worry. I will. But I've got to go. Don't worry, wifey. I'll keep an eye on your husband. He'll either be coming home with a fruit in the basket or a protracted poop shoot. But he'll be coming home. Bye, honey. <laughs> All right, let's get started. College boy, you get to the front of the table and start acting sexy while I crack open this piece of gin. What do I do? You sit at the back of the table and start singing those bit Midler songs. You ever know that you're my hero? I wanna be just like you today. Oh yeah, that's good and sexy. We're gonna need a bigger table. Well, what's wrong? We need a bigger table because I've seen the pervert. How did you see him? I was in the front being all sexy. 
Look, both you ladies flushed them out. Hey boy, do you get that he she like I told you to? Yeah, I went to the local homosexual establishment and I saw that Munson already had this one picked out. Hi, I'm Todd Magnuson. <laughs> hey, Chiefy, this he she looks a lot like your wife. You think? Sure, she's got woman hands, but she pees standing up. And those eyes, as black as doll's eyes when she bites in you. My wife bit you? Since you're up! Okay, now Todd, I'm gonna need you to walk into the woods and fruit it up a bit. Okay, vote for Munson. All right. I hope she'll be okay. Don't go falling in love with her, boy. Remember, she's packing sausage. You're giving her too much rope. Clint, you're giving her too much rope. <laughs> Got her. That wasn't the perv. She probably fell in a sinkhole or was attacked by a woodchuck. Oh, yeah? You think a woodchuck bit through this piano wire? It's not piano wire, that's a rope. Boys, we got trouble. <laughs> Chiefy, give me the gun. He can't hide, not with two boas on him. Oh, I don't know. Either this pervert's very stupid or very horny. Chief, get off the table. We're gonna move it closer to the woods. <laughs> I'm not getting off this table. We gotta flush him out! Come on, we gotta move this table closer! Get off the table! Get off the table! Come on, we gotta flush him out! We got to get this table moved up. Ah! 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 Don't let go! Oh, don't let go! That guy's a jerk. Let him go. Oh, okay. Ah! Well, you know, he's not going to last that pervert long. He'll be back for more. All right, you. Go back to Oneida. Tell my wife I love her. And now people can enjoy their picnics because there's no more perverts in the park. 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 Perverts in the park.